everybody, it's Victor Sun continue eating streak here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Afterbirth Plus Series. 782 wins down, and how many more to go? Who freaking knows, man? Unbelievable. The Mosh Pit again doubling up on the like streak, passing 7,100 likes yesterday at the time of this recording. We're getting close to the speed run mod. It's going to be here before you even know it. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Mains Support. Uh, we need to ban some Victor from taking victory laps till his voice is healed. I mean, you can try. <laughs> no guarantees on that actually being effective or not, but you can try. I appreciate the support and the worry nonetheless. Hotel Yankee, Juliet, Foxtrot, Foxtrot Alpha, or X-Ray Alpha, Foxtrot. A lot of, a lot, a lot of X-Rays in there. We've got, I guess, kind of good everything. Our space bar item is uh, Breath of Life, which is an item that definitely exists in the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, and we also have everything freezing again because, you know... So I, yeah, Isaac's a it's a it's a hard game to process. You know, sometimes the computers just have to just work with what it's got. You know. Oh, curse the blind floor one. Well, that makes things easy for us, doesn't it, game? So really quickly, uh, talking about the ad situation from yesterday. Obviously, I made a post and I also talked about it on stream, and we also also talked about it on Twitter, as well as on the Reddit. But in case you missed it. Um, anytime you see something like that happen where essentially the the ads, like if you see way more ads than normal, it's most likely because YouTube decided to revert any changes that I had told it to, or it didn't save my changes from the night before when I, whenever I'm setting all the breaks and stuff. So, um, and the reason why, the reason why that it, it stayed like that for a couple hours is because I just, I, I'm asleep when the, when the episodes come out. As soon as I woke up, I was inundated with tons and tons of messages from people asking me why there are like 15 or 16 ads on today's Isaac video. Um, in the future, anytime, anytime you all see that, um, just know that it's it is it is either going to be because YouTube reverted it or it didn't save my it did not save my preferences uh, from the ad delivery. They're really super sorry about that. Excuse me. Not all tab game. What are you talking about? Um, yeah, really super sorry about that. Uh, for those of you who are who are the early the early viewers there, if you had if you if you had to suffer through all those ads, man, I I've, I've made no bones about it. I'm not shy to recommend ad blocker to people. I'm not going to be a hypocrite and say I don't use ad blocker on certain channels. Um, I turn it off for the channels I support, and I certainly. I myself would not sit through that many ads, and I certainly would not expect anyone who wants to support me for, to do the same. And I and I would never ever have that many ads on there. I don't want that many ads on my videos. Um, so yeah. So if that happens again, just let me know, um, or just know that it will be fixed ASAP as soon as I see it. Um, and thank you all very much again for reporting that. And uh, yeah, it's just you know what I mean. What can you do? That's. That, that was the whole point of my post talking about adblock is that I can't I literally cannot guarantee that that won't happen again because YouTube has done this in the past where I will I will save my ad delivery settings um, and then come to find out that the next day hell yeah by the way you've got 14 you've got 14 mid roll ads on today's video when I only set you know two <laughs> so I don't know I don't know exactly what else I can do other than other than to if you want to be 110 percent sure that you're never going to have that problem again then definitely use adblock just watching the videos and engaging and engaging uh with the videos liking comments subscribing blah 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 all that stuff is good enough people who go who watch the ads are are giving extra support and it's ex, ex, absolutely extra appreciated uh from me but please don't please don't feel obligated especially if you come into a situation like yesterday that may impede your enjoyment of the channel or the videos i, I would rather you enjoy the videos ad free than have to suffer through uh that many that many ads because that's just ridiculous I mean, and it's it's annoying me, for me because there's nothing I can really do about it. There's no way I can. There's no one I can complain to. Um, you know, there's there's just nothing. There's nothing I can do about it. Um, so, I would recommend doing that. Now, if you don't want to support, if you if you want to support more than just myself, um, a very good deal. Um, and this is not like a paid promotion or anything. But a very good deal is YouTube Premium or YouTube uh, Red, whatever they call it now these days. Um, and those, a lot of people are asking, what's the difference between that and just watching the ads and stuff? What what pays more? Yada yada yada. Um, 
the YouTube Premium Revenue, or YouTube YouTube Red, whatever the heck it's called, is an ad-free experience here on YouTube, and it it not only contributes to my channel, but as well as all other partner channel on partner channels on YouTube. Um, we we all get a, a tiny little slice of the of the YouTube Premium pie. So if you're looking for an ad-free experience, but you still want to support your favorite content creators here on YouTube, that is absolutely the best way to go. Um, now, as far as what pays more. YouTube Premium does. In, in terms of in terms of your your buck your dollar um, given, it come it's it, it's best spent from YouTube Premium. That's the that's the easiest way I can say it. So we get empty vessel here. Uh, super secret rooms right here. Yes, that's exactly what I was hoping for. Now we're getting a damage up here from this from the red patch, but it's just temporary. As soon as we walk out of this room, it's gone. Um, although I wish it was permanent. <laughs> it would be nice. For some reason I thought that we were gonna be we were gonna be flying here, game. Am I misremembering that? I thought that on half of a half a red heart you get uh you get flying. I could be thinking of something different though. Either way, it doesn't really matter. Whenever we get rid of all of our red heart upgrades. I know for a fact that we will indeed be flying, and that gives us a nice invulnerability shield. That's that item that gives us that invulnerability shield every 40 seconds or so. But of course, it has to be active, and uh, you know it's active because you'll be flying. And also, Isaac will look very dark, and he'll be—he'll—he'll he'll look kind of like the Lost, in a way. Okay, so obviously we want to spend this quarter uh, inside of this shop here. That's the only reason why I even took the quarter was out of anticipation of getting into the store. Now, unfortunately, we don't have a key, so I, we have to hope that this judgment is going to pay out uh, with a key drop, I hope. Of course, the other item we have is Fate, which a lot of people really like for some reason. Not a huge fan of Fate's reward, to be honest. Blood banks can give you keys. I have a feeling, though, that... No, it can't be there. It cannot be there. Because um, it's adjacent to a skinny room. It would have to be here. Yep. Okay. Well, we got we got bombs, but we don't have keys. I'm going to spend one bomb here to try to get a nickel or two. Excellent. Okay. So, we're kind of paying it forward in terms of, like luck here because obviously we cannot we 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 can't capitalize on uh in on the quarter right now but hopefully the money that we've gained on this floor uh will give us the spending power to get something on the next floor or maybe like a you know in a future floor so we'll head on down a little bit of a longer trek here but we're making it at least we gotta deal with the devil Okay. So taking taking a little bit of a of an assessment of this situation right now. We've got cube of meat. Cube of meat's excellent. If I learn if I knew how to use uh, Breath of Life correctly, we would have a pretty amazing combo here. So the reason why I haven't been talking about our space bar item is just because I don't use it. Um, you hold down the space bar item and you become invulnerable as long as you're holding it down. But if you hold it down for too long, it takes away your HP. Um, and that's a bad thing. It, and yes, it can be lethal to Isaac. But like, I'm holding it down right now. I, you know what? Let's figure this out together. Because I'm tired of not knowing how to use... Breath of Life. So, uh, there's a lot of people who actually know how to use it correctly, and it's incredible. Okay. Invincibility at a cost. While you hold down the space bar item, this item... While you hold the space bar down with this item, it will decharge gradually. When the charge bar goes to zero, it will grant you a brief period of, of invincibility. If the space bar item is held... If the space bar is held for too long, about one second, when it has no charge, you will take damage. So, it doesn't give you invincibility until you flash... I guess. Okay. 
So right now we are not invulnerable. So Isaac has to be flashing. Interesting. Not really. Yeah. So that's Breath of Life. In case if you wanted to know what it, what it did, there you go. I'm sure there's some sick micro plays that you could probably pull off with it, but I couldn't be bothered. It, it falls under it's it falls under the category of it's just unicorn horn or unicorn stump, but way worse and way more micromanage focused. And I'm not going to try to dance around holding down the space bar while also having to think about the billion other things that Isaac tries to throw in your way to you know cause damage to you. Uh, the battery is okay, but we need we need to get real value out of the quarter. Because remember, we used it. We basically sacrificed a a reroll pedestal to do to take it. So I will take PH Dizzle. There's no reason not to. Got yeah, Horf. A uh, Horf we can actually use against the boss. So I'm not going to use it here to reroll. A little bit, a little bit wasteful. Starter deck is excellent, although it does kind of immediately usurp PHD. And now that I think about it, that was a really dumb move because, uh, yeah. I took, P I took starter deck without even really thinking about it. So we essentially wasted 15 cents on the PhD play. So let it be a lesson to you, my fellow Mosh Pit members out there. Don't act too, there, you're not under any, any rush. Don't do what Sinvicta does most of the time. So, and if you don't know what if you don't know what just happened, PhD of course gives you, it, it shows you all the pills and stuff, and uh, gives you all positive or neutral effects of every pill, which is very good. Also gives you a full heal, I think a full heal. Maybe it only heals you for two, three hearts, something like that. Um, and vibrant mold would be nice. <clears throat> but I immediately took starter deck, which turns all pills into cards. <laughs> now normally that wouldn't be a big deal, but of course. Why would you do that if you just got done buying PhD? Well, the reason is because I acted without thinking first for like half of a second. Uh, however, it is reversible. If we do get little baggy, we can we can turn all tarot cards and runes into pills. So we we can reclaim the value of PhD if we get little baggy, which is a fairly ubiquitous item. So we shall see. He shot that out at an angle and somehow missed uh, Cuban meat. Out of nine tails is excellent. We get shot speed, but more importantly, we finally get some damage here. And I was really looking forward to using PhD as well because obviously we need a tears up. We need a lot of things. Now, your question is, how come you, uh, how come you didn't use the Empress card, Sivicta, uh, nerd, dummy? I'm less inclined to use... I'm less inclined to use a card, especially a damage... Uh, a damage... A damage card like, uh, like the Devil card or the Empress card whenever I've got an orbital. Because it's not really going to affect your orbital damage. In fact, it doesn't affect your damage at all. And I would rather save it for situations where I need to rely on my tears damage than orbitals. If I can get it, if I can get the job done with an orbital, I'm going to do it. And I really want vibrant ball. Vibrant ball would be excellent for for uh, breath of life here, because I mean I'm never going to use breath of life. We don't have a bomb. Let's go exploring here. This is not really a run where we can be like, oh yeah, we're we're way ahead of the game here. We can we can skip rooms. No, if we need to if we need to get rooms and if we need like certain items and stuff, there's no reason for us to be rushing here. Super sloth could be interesting. Thank you everyone for the support on the monster train video. I definitely will be doing a follow-up vid. Um, I don't know about series yet because the back seating and for deck builders is pretty, pretty awful, even in the mosh pit. Um, but 
I will say that the game is very, very good. Um, it's Slay the Spire good. In fact, I would even go so far as to say it's better than Slay the Spire. <clears throat> so, and it has multiplayer as well, which I am very, very keen on doing. So, we'll see. We'll see if it if it eventually turns into a series or not. Um, it all depends on how it's supported on YouTube and what the what the Mosh Pit thinks, basically. Okay, so with this one bomb, we're going to be able to get Vibrant Bulb, which is going to give us a much-needed stat boost. <clears throat> Even though the red patch is good, don't get me wrong, red patch is, is completely solid. Uh, it, but it's not... It's We have to take damage in order for us to gain any sort of benefit from it, and I don't want to take damage, because I don't know if you realize this or not, but uh, we don't have a whole lot of HP. And this is one of those runs where you absolutely need to get a Devil Deal. We cannot afford to not get a Devil Deal here. So we're going to take Vibrant Bulb. Um, I am going to go see if we can get a Soul Heart. No, there was a... I think there was a playing card. Because we have Starter Deck, by the way, another another secondary effect of having Starter Deck is that you get to carry two cards instead of one. Um, yeah, so we got to take this. Two of Clubs. Eh, okay. Two of Clubs doubles our bombs. Unfortunately, we don't have any use for it right now. Take that back. We do. I'm gonna hold on to this last bomb here. It's not a guaranteed payout, and even if that, even if we bomb that keeper, we've already fought the boss, and we would just, in the best case scenario, we would get like a nickel back. Look at this graph. Thanks, Chad. That's your real name. So seeing here just a little difference in our that that uh, vibrant ball made in our DPS. I'm definitely liking the movement speed upgrade because we definitely needed that as well. To sneak up there. Basically, how you deal with this room, if you have an orbital, it makes this room a piece of cake. You just wait for the orbital to turn in a favorable direction of the target that you're about to approach, and then just time it right by walking into the walking towards the hosts, and then letting them dunk themselves when they uh, when they lift up their their heads. That room always gives a lot of people a lot of problems. So, even though I say don't do what Sinvicta does most of the time. Most of the time, don't. <laughs> Unless if I'm actually trying to give you legitimate lessons, then, you know, I'd be careful here. If you go too ham early on in this room, you will you will end up killing one of the flies, and you will have no angle of escape. In this room here. This room, you're usually Gucci, unless if they decide to do that, then you have to back away. There we go. Right, I said Gucci. All the cool kids still say Gucci, right? No, they don't. No, it's 2015. <sighs> I can't be the only one that feels that all the 2000 and teens feel like they've, like... It feels like a million years ago, man. I'll just see what this is to our hearts. Hooray. That's, that's super great. Super... Um, it just, I mean, it just feels like it, it was, it wasn't even yesterday. I don't remember. That's the thing. I don't even, I don't, I, I don't remember what happened. I'm getting old and senile, man. You know, once you, once you turn past 55, it's just, it's all over. Again, this is one of those rooms where if you go too ham, you're going to find yourself getting punished for it. So you have to have control over your shots. And this is another, this is a classic example of why I do not like followers, because yes, I can pull off of my shot, but I can't always control what my followers are doing. Wow. They almost spawned that directly on top of me. I mean, it was. I, luckily, I was paying attention. You do not want to let the spiders split around like this. And if they do, you have got to take it out with the, with the orbital. We got some chip damage there on that one skitterer. But... This is one of those rooms where if you move too suddenly, the uh, the the AI is so dumb it will appear smart. 
and the, one of the skitterers or two of them will come from this side and then you're just trapped here because obviously you can't move over here because you don't know where they were spawned over this side and the, you always have that one skitterer that spawns here it comes straight for you if you overreact if you stay here or you move up here you're going to cause both lines of skitterers to split to uh, split and go right for you and they're just gonna sp they're gonna sprint they're gonna they're gonna take a beeline straight for you and there's nothing you can do about it you're going to you're going to take a hit I do not know how or why that bomb fly went in that direction. That makes no sense to me. He was moving down here, and then he decided to just turn around like he was he was he was bouncing off this side and then just decided to go back this way for no reason at all. There goes a deal with the devil, unfortunately. And uh, as I said before, this is not an this is not a not a run that you can afford to not have a deal with the devil. And uh, the fact that we lost in that room is pretty bad. And it's doubly bad because the only item that we've gotten out of our deal with the devil is the one that we absolutely need to have right now, and that's empty vessel. We cannot activate that until we get out of, until we get rid of our red heart containers. We can't get rid of our red heart containers without a deal with the devil. Unless, of course, we die and resurrect this blue baby, but we do not have the Ankh. By the way, it's Invicta Full Clear. Those of you who are, who are missing it, if you're missing Dead End Airlines, well, welcome back. We're glad to have you here. Day late and a dollar short here, Font. Unfortunately, you're not going to help us. We've already lost our deal with the devil. <laughs> unless, unless, of course, we pass a an 18% uh, deal with the devil chance. Yeah, that's something that Svictic can do. Of course. How foolish of me to think not. We can pass an 82% probability chance of failure. It's no problem. The Go ahead and drop that down now. Not going to pick up the soul hearts, though. I'll, although I am considering taking some more damage on our red hearts just so we have polar invincibility. Um, but whatever. Monstro's Lung. Hooray. I am going to take Monstro's Lung. We did have an excellent Monstro's Lung uh, in the Monstro's Blast uh, episode not that long ago. So, And this is honestly one of the best types of runs for you to get monsters lung because we do have decent raw damage 6.19 damage assuming that we keep our spacebar item charged is good enough um to get by with just regular shots now you couple that with the fact that we've got monsters lung now and you've you've got some serious burst damage at your disposal no reason for us not to use this one bomb down here You never know what what might be hiding over there. I can't believe that the secret room's not there. It should definitely be there. It's very odd that it's not. Now I don't know why the I'm not sure why Breath of Life jumped like that, but it's very weird. Yeah, so you see the shotgun effect here, this burst. Almost like a almost like a buckshot. Um amount of damage that we've got. Very, very effective at dealing with enemies that are just staying there. And uh yeah. There we go. Okay, if there was ever a time to, uh, there was uh, ever a time at all to make some big time plays, now is the time. With only two item rooms remaining, and uh, realistically only one devil deal remaining, which is this floor, uh, we gotta make we we gotta get some sort of solidification options for this run. Monstro's Lung is going to help us more than I really lead on because as you see here, the amount of damage that we're doing is outstanding. We still need more damage though. Um, obviously getting a tears up would, would be huge because, you know, <laughs> we have a 45 tier delay, but that's just the that's that's the side effect of actually having Monstro's Lung. And that's really the only downside as well. I mean, not all charged items are great. 
For the record, I'm not a huge fan of charged items that aren't named Brimstone or Mom's Knife or Maw of the Void. But Monstro's Lung, the amount of the amount of damage it gives you is is undeniably good. And it doesn't even affect your damage. I mean, like, you, it affects your tears rate. It doesn't affect your damage. Watch battery is not going to help us out here. That's a, heal, that's a healing champion. We got to take it out immediately. It's amazing how how quickly that we recognize those champions now. Wow, it's not there either. We're getting some pretty some pretty gnarly secret room spawns. Wow. Yeah, I can't believe it's not there. Two that's two spawns in a row that I've been uh, baffled by. Yeah, so whenever you have enough damage to burst down Grub like that, with that before Grub can even move, that's 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 some pretty good damage. <laughs> Quality commentary right there. Yeah, whenever you have a uh, pretty good damage, it's uh it's pretty good damage. Wonderful. My voice is my voice is getting better. We stream we had an amazing stream tonight. Uh, and thank you everyone who who joined us for that. It was it was truly a record breaking. I mean, the the mosh pit has just been absolutely crushing it on Twitch and on YouTube. The, I mean, the mosh pit is crushing it regardless. Shoop is better, but it it cannibalizes vibrant bulb. But Shoop does give us better options. And money equals power also helps us out greatly. Even though right now, obviously, we need we need the damage from money equals power. A hard dodge right there. <laughs> I can't believe that the little monster made that dodge. Come on, monsters. Let me work with me here. So you see the big difference between 45 and 54... 54 tier delay as dumb as as dumb as that sounds a noticeable different <laughs> it went to the it went to the only the only place I didn't I, I really needed it to go there we go so all right so vibrant bulbs back for now but it's a I mean shoot to whoop is something that we just have to get champion belt is of course huge for us um we should buy a tarot card and we got high priestess okay gonna be useful for against against the boss for sure Hard to, hard to see what's over here. There we go. And we just got a bunch of XL floor or XL rooms here. I'm trying real hard not to use Shoop to Whoop in rooms that we don't need it. But we get a full charge after this, so. I mean, vi like Vibrant Ball, but it's not like we're dealing with stats that are given to us, like, on the magnitude of Crack Crown or something. It's just important. To know when you should and should not hold on to a buff, um, and uh, you know having having to having to pull the trigger while using Troop to Whoop at the expense of Vibrant Bulb, we have to remember that our movement speed gets affected, our tears rate gets affected, and you already saw it in that last in that last um, that last room that the difference between 45 and 54 is pretty substantial because it go. In your brain, it is again. It's gonna sound. It's gonna sound weird. In your brain, you get an unconscious timing down whenever you talk about certain factors of tear delay. And knowing that you have once your once your your body gets used to it, and your mind gets used to the frequency that you are firing stuff. Any little variation in that at all is wildly. Discombobulating. Utilizing the knockback here of Monster's Lung, and thank goodness we got a golden chest out of a tinted rock in the boss room. At least it dropped money, so we're getting damage here. I don't actually want a level 2 Meat Boy, and I will take Dark Bomb, which is huge for us. I will go back. I mean, this is something that we have to do. I'm going to 
We're going to do our due diligence here and uh, get this done. Dark Bum. We've talked about this, Dark Bum. You don't want to mess. All right. I know that you're I know you're an all-star and I know that you get you get all the ladies and and you know you make the big time plays. I understand that, but look, this place is no we got no tolerance for egos here, all right? Maintain your consistency. Pick that up. Dark Bum, by the way, is a familiar that will walk around and get you red hearts. And for every one and a half red hearts he picks up, he has a chance for dropping a Soul Heart or an Attack Spider, as you've all seen. Yeah, you know what? We can we can go for this. Good, lots of money. It's exactly what we need. Sometimes you get stuff out of the locks. Not all. It's not often, but sometimes. Got a Dark Bum. That's what I'm talking about, son. Uh, we already tested that. Yep, yeah, I think we're just gonna head on down. Okay, so this was a pretty big floor so for survivability-wise. This was a this was a big development for us. We got money equals power. We got champion belt. We got dark bum. We got a movement speed upgrade. Um, or not a movement speed upgrade, but a uh, a level two meat boy, which I probably am still not going to take just because we already have fate's reward trailing behind me, and I don't want to have to worry about another shot that I'm kind of not res not I'm not expecting. Um, I don't actually know if the you you would think I'd have an answer to this question, this hypothetical rhetorical question that I'm asking myself. Uh, I don't know if if level two Meat Boy does more contact damage than level one. Somebody will probably answer this in the comments. But something else to keep in mind, other other than the the fact that everyone knows that I I kind of don't like a lot of followers. Unless we have a build for it, keep in mind that we also have Monstro's Lung in this situation, and which which means that I am that I am forced to have to hold down the fire button constantly because I need to pre-charge all the shots. Otherwise, we take you know tons and tons of damage, and that's not what I want. If I were to have, <clears throat> excuse me, if I were to have Fate's Reward or not Fate's Reward, but a level two Meat Boy, that's two shots, including Fate's Reward, that would be firing simultaneously every time I try to fire. Making it almost impossible for me to control. If you look, if you think back to the earlier level in this in this run itself, to control my damage output whenever there's like bomb flies or barrels next to me, you know, just imagine what one more what one more errant shot would have done in one of those rooms. We would have been hit. You know, it's possible lethal damage. And those are all factors that you have to consider whenever you're talking about what items to take, what items not to take. You know, is, is is am I am I silly sometimes about about not liking certain items? Yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, everyone everyone's got their their pet peeves when it comes to items. Um, but I think that you should be discerning in nature when you're talking about items that just match your playstyle. That's that's the thing about Isaac. So while it while it might be silly, in principle, to say I don't want level two meat boy. Um, just because I don't like followers or I don't want to have to worry about uh, an extra shot, blah, blah, blah. In this case, there's more evidence to support my claim of not wanting something like that because of the presence of Monster's Lung. If we didn't have a charge, a charging main attack here, then yeah, then there's no reason for me not to take it other than just my general disdain for orbitals that shoot or followers in general. Steps two? Steps two. Somehow we ended up going all the way to mom again sounds like a dinner at Applebee's welcome to Applebee's oh two orders of the uh, of the mom again special <laughs> not so yeah there's no there's no good excuse for getting hit by spikes that aren't moving You, know, you can really move. You can put some oomph behind it if if you have a good amount of uh, shot speed. 
The money equals power, by the way, are those glasses that we're wearing. If you don't know what that does, it will give us more damage based on the amount of money that we're currently holding. And yes, then it also includes subtracting damage whenever we spend money. And we have yet... This might be one of the most... Oh, good. That's great. This might be one of the most... Um, maybe one of the most worthless item room pool that I've ever seen. What what, what have we gotten out of out of a, our item rooms besides Monsters Long? Money equals power, <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I mean that's that's about it. The guys is great here. I'm gonna use a hermit card just to pre just to preserve half of a soul heart. The Degas rune we can use for an emergency backup soul heart in case we need it, or of course to purge a curse that we do not want. Okay, so I'm probably not going to use Shoop against Mom. Want a little bit of extra tier delay against her. Almost didn't move out of the way in that time. No deal with the devil, no surprise there. We'll head on down. Curse the maze. It's it's bad. I mean, it's it's annoying, but it's not bad enough for me to purge with the guys. That might be the first time I've ever seen Mom's wig paid out from the vanity. Although I do vaguely remember seeing that happen. I don't remember if that was to me or not. It may have been to Frag or to NL. Okay, so we get we get uh, Mom's wig, which is going to periodically spawn spiders like that right there. It's a very good support item. Just an overall, just an overall good support item for damage. Damage boosting. Well, that's the downside of Monsters Long. If you have a target that's moving at a high velocity towards you uh, that you do not one shot, then you're talking about bad news bears because then you've got to you've got to deal with the Isaac physics lack thereof, and that's when it's no bueno. No bueno. I love I love the Spanish the Spanish mosh pit man it's so there, I don't know there's something I don't know why I, it always puts a smile on my face to think about that one uh, <clears throat> that one meme of the day that we had a couple months ago where where a Spanish speaker uh, made a meme that was like I, I don't know what movie's from it's, it looked like a Pixar movie it's like Sinvicta when he speaks Spanish Spanish people everywhere it's like I don't know I'll have to find it. I was thinking, de nada. <laughs> you know, a very suave, suave sounding uh, Spanish accent. Something, something heartwarming. I don't know. Spanish is a cool language. I mean, all languages are cool, really. Get this amazingly designed boss that just keeps on going, doesn't she? Yep, she just keeps on doing that. Remember all that HP that we had? Apparently Chubb can can push her push her ads through walls now. That's cool. Great boss. Wonderfully designed. Looking forward to seeing more of that in repentance. And this is the downside of having a bad tier delay versus a boss such as this. Was it all worth it? <laughs> I think that's a yes. I'm not going to take Dark Prince's crown. We cannot afford to lose HP right now. In what was probably our final devil deal... We get ourselves Magic Musherino.
Magic Mush, of course, is going to give us a full heal. All stats up. Minus, uh, minus tears, of course. But more importantly, we get that damage multiplier. As you see for the free fall right there that our HP, or that our damage just did. That is obviously from us losing everything from money equals power, but we get it back pretty quickly. Thanks to that nickel. And I'm not going to purge the Curse of Darkness right now because we're going to need these soul hearts. But what's nice about this, what's nice about Magic Mush now, and especially now that we have the, the additive properties of uh, Money Equals Power, Shoop -to the stock on Shoop to Whoop just went way up. Shoop's power and overall general <clears throat> uh, effect on this run has just increased tenfold. Almost literally. I should get a two of hearts, which is, which can heal us for double the amount of uh, red hearts we currently have. So if I were to use it now, we would gain another, well, another heart. That was, we, I think we got away with one there. That one should have hit us. But I'll take the charity. Okay. I'm not going to use the two of hearts right now. Um, I'm really, really hoping that we get the womb room. The dark bum can just put an end to all of this and uh, give us a ton of HP. Liberty cap is nice. However, I don't think that... Well, do we take liberty cap here? I mean, we're not gonna we're we're not gonna not ever use shoop to whoop, right? And at least with Liberty Cap, yeah, we don't get a tears up. We might get a tears up thanks to the skinny on mushroom proc every now and then. But at least with Liberty Cap, we'll know exactly where we're going. Well, maybe not exactly, but we'll know where we're generally headed because we can see the map, assuming we can see the map. Now it does suck to lose that tears the tears up that we got because the only one um, from Vibrant Ball, but. Isaac is a game of just as much as it's an action game. It's an assessment game. You have to know how to gauge your current re your current predicaments and how to respond accordingly to the game. And sometimes some moves just make more sense than others. Per throw. Per throw. Bercano. And I was really hoping for a Yarrow rune. Yeah, the two of hearts. Now to state the obvious, yes, that is a card against humanity, and yes, I am going to use it uh, because it is huge. For many reasons, none of them more important than because we have Dark Bum. <clears throat> so sit back and relax, folks. It's going to take a while. But what we're looking for here is the petrified poop. If we can get that, then we've got ourselves a one run. Because, well, assuming that we get it with a reasonable amount of poop stacks on the ground remaining. Of course, that's predicated on us actually getting a payout. I should try to get that half heart. If I can get a half red heart, I'm going to take it. Because we can use that for the Polaroid invincibility. We can enable that by going back to the arcade and then hitting the blood bank. I'm not going to do that right now because chances are we're probably going to pick up more red hearts accidentally. And the second reason, the lesser reason why this is huge for us is because of money equals power. Assuming we get a payout here of petrified poop. I mean, we only temporarily need it. I'm going to stick with Liberty Cap, but... Don't make don't make me... There we go. I was going to say, don't make me waste all, my, all these... These fine people in the mosh pits time for nothing game. Come on now. So, Petrified Poop, the dream is real. Now, what do we want for Petrified Poop besides money? We want red hearts. Red hearts or soul hearts. Eternal hearts, I don't really want. Um, anything that Dark Bomb can give us that can provide us with some more HP, essentially. Or just, you know, straight up soul hearts is fine too. I'll take that. I wish that Isaac could just walk on them. You can with Stompy, of course, but that's not the point. Get a nickel there. That's huge for us. Again, it's just more damage. More damage to add to the pile. We'll 
Red hearts, awesome, awesome. That's what I'm talking about. So I want to go back and enact, or enable, I don't know why I keep saying enact. Enable polar invincibility. There's a luck upgrade there. I didn't know it was luck, luck upgrades in Victor. Well, Timmy, it's because if you look carefully, you can see a green sheen from it. If you play this game long enough, you just see them. More red hearts, very good. Yeah, and as I as I said when we when we got into this very long process of doing this room, that was huge. Card Against Humanity is is grossly underrated for its run carrying potential. I mean, we gained damage, we gained full HP. What else could you want from one single tarot card, you know? So that's big time plays there. Coming in the clutch with that uh, Card Against Humanity card. But now every time that we get a... <clears throat> every time we get hit, because we're sitting at a uh, half red heart interval, uh, that means that we are going to have polar invincibility kick in. Now, I'm really hoping that we get... I mean, I'm still... I'm holding out hope that we can actually enable... Uh, what are you doing? I didn't even realize I left that bomb there. Um... I'm really hoping that we get to utilize Empty Vessel, because I, I want flying really badly. But we can't do that until we get rid of our Red Hearts. Could take the Matchstick, I'm not going to. It's a little bit ironic that uh, since taking Starter Deck, I think we've had one card drop and that was it. Of course, we also picked up a red heart, so... <clears throat> Let's go double per throw just in case we get a miracle devil deal here. We have a spicy dodge, I gotta say. <clears throat> okay. Strength card literally doesn't matter. Whoop. Gotta get that 10% shoot to whoop damage. If you, if you don't think it works, that means you're not believing hard enough. I deal with the devil, no surprise there. And we will take Black Rune into Gaz, and we'll head on up. Black Rune is going to be very important because obviously we're looking to gain some stats off of the chest, and that's where we're headed next, well, after the Cathedral. <clears throat> and Curse the Lost. I'm not going to use the gods as much as I want to, however, because if the game pulls a Curse of the Blind on us uh, in the chest, which I guess admittedly isn't that big of a deal, but I still want to see... I still want to be able to see what the map is with Liberty Cap, so I know that we're, we're going in the general direction of where we need to be. But this, I mean, this, this, this one is pretty much run. Yep, this one's pretty much run. Um, this one's been one for a while now, but Magic Mush really sent it over the top, uh, and then what solidified that was us getting the Card Against Humanity card. I really wish that we had to shoot to whoop for this room, that's for dang sure. It's been great meeting all of you who've been coming out to the Twitch streams. It really has. You know, there was not a there was not a doubt in my mind whenever I was talking about I I was talking to the Twitch mosh pit uh, in Discord, just letting him know that you know we're going to expect expect to see an influx of new people probably hopefully soon uh, with the YouTube memberships enacting. I think today is when I'm when I'm turning them on. You'll know that the YouTube memberships are on whenever you see a video say, talking about memberships. Um, because it's one of the requirements for me to actually enable it is I have to make a video welcoming people and introducing them to the benefits of the YouTube membership program. So keep an eye out for that.
I'll go back and get that red heart in a second here. But, I mean, overall, look, Monstro's Lung, I'm not a huge fan of it, but in the, la the last two times that we picked it up, it's really come up with the clutch, the clutch victories. You know, I, knowing that we ha that we would get Magic Mush, would I have taken Monstro's Lung? Honestly, probably still, yeah. I mean, you're seeing the shutdown potential here. We're one-shotting. Like, that was just a one-shot on a champion Dingle, you know. I mean, of course, our damage is excellent. 14.70. There's nothing to snuff at. The scoff at. I don't know what snuffing is. But it's amplified even more because we're getting so many different shots out at various speeds and velocities. And also how fast they move. <laughs> I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a great dad one day. I'm gonna make my all my daughters they're gonna they're gonna hate, <clears throat> they're gonna hate how much I embarrass them. With all the dad jokes. This room is a trap. <clears throat> I don't know about that one game. I feel like I was against that wall before that shot. Had a chance to hit us there. I don't know. I don't know. I, I've always, I've always imagined myself being, being like a daughter's only father. <clears throat> of course, I never really envisioned myself being a father at all, to be honest. <laughs> and of course, now's when the, when the sly, the sly slick dude says, "Not that I know of." <laughs> yeah. That's a clever one we got there. Look out! Look out for this guy. You gotta watch out for him. Yeah, just the, I mean, tons and tons of burst damage here on Isaac, and really a huge another big pickup here for this run uh, was certainly money equals power. I'm glad that I ended up picking it up. Money equals power is one of those. It's one of those items that are just always good. Curse the maze, get yeeted. Wow. That is impressively bad. Alright, so we gained we gained all stats, which is fantastic. Um hopefully we just get an Emperor card and that'll be it. Temperance. Two of hearts. Hangman. Alright, I'll use the two of hearts. <clears throat> I'll use the hangman and temperance machine. A little bit of extra moolah here. And now, what is what's nice about that is now we have a guaranteed way of getting back down to polar invincibility if we need it. Now, of course, we don't have a way of of getting an empty vessel, but I don't know if you've been noticing or not, but we haven't exactly needed it. <laughs> We've been just plowing over this run now. But money equals power is, is just a safe item. It's it's an item that will always be good. Y and you think about it. This is a point that I always make when I bring this up. Think about how many runs you've had where you end it with like a ton of money. Right? Why not have that money go towards damage so you can clear rooms faster? There's no there's no good reason not to take money with power, ever. Ever. There, there are no downsides to it. It's just an excellent item. It's it's been an excellent item for many years. Since the since the beginning of Isaac. Woo! What I'm going to do now is I'm going to abuse Liberty Cap, and you see on the map right there that our boss is the upper right. And this is probably the right way to go. Oh yeah, because you took a right turn. I get it, Victor. <laughs> I mean, like I'm pretty sure this is the right way to go, not in the directional sense, but just the correct sense. You got you got to watch out for these guys. They're all, they're always going to try to anti dad joke you. Then you just got to you got to one up on them. 
Mr. Mega. Another one of those items that are just good. Just good. There's no downside to taking Mr. Mega unless if you have Bob's Brain, which if you have Bob's Brain, then what are you doing? What are you doing? I do not know how that traveled through Brownie, but it did. It sure did. Now stop you dead in your tracks there. Didn't see that one because it charged off the screen. Overall, very good run. Um, started out a little bit spicy, but at the in the end of the day, I'm uh, very happy that Monstro's Lung once again proving me wrong and uh, telling me that I need to curb my ignorance a little bit about the item. I'm not ignorant about Mom about Monstro's Lung. It's just if you put me in the right situation, I think that I think that Monstro's Lung is great, but I do not think it's great enough to be considered one of those you just take it no matter what items. Um, there are situations where you would not want Monstro's Lung, particularly anything like Dr. Fetus, Zipacac, Mom's Knife, maybe. But this was this is one of those cases which are not really few and far between. You just you don't see it you don't see a good Monstro's Lung without having any sort of like awesome tier effect or on proc tier effect or you know piercing shots like we do. But yeah, it's a good it's a good follow up. Uh, to yesterday's good run and again thank you all very much for coming by the twitch channel thank you for those of you who showed support on the monster train on the monster train video maybe a series maybe not it, it kind of gauges on feedback hope you had a great start to your sunday everyone thank you from the bottom of my heart for making this channel what it is and as always i will see you all next time until then long everybody